Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at Google Classroom. Now, the first thing you want to do in order to get a look at Google Classroom is sign into your Google Drive account, which is what I've done here. Now, usually when you want to select an app within your Google Apps for Education account, you click on this button right here. My hover over it, it says Apps. But as you can see, after I click on it, there's no icon for Google Classroom here. And when I click on More, there's no icon for Google Classroom here as well, at least not yet. So the way that you want to log in to Google Classroom is first you want to be logged into your Google Drive. You want to open up a new tab by clicking up here on a button. Uh, depending on which browser you're using, uh, the button should be right here. When I click on it, a new tab opens up within my browser. Now you can see that I still have my Google Drive open on this tab, but there's a new tab that has been opened to the right of it right here. And I want to type in classroom.google.com. When I click enter, because I'm already logged into my Google Drive right here in this tab, I'm automatically logged into Classroom. Now starting on the right hand side, you can see that when I click on this arrow, it gives me the opportunity to sign out. When I click on this plus sign right here, I can create a class or I can join a class. We'll come back to that in just a second. Here is the one class that I have created so far. I've entitled it C5 Teachers. You can see that um, when I click on these three circles right here, I can rename this class or I can delete this class. And when I click on this folder right here, it opens up another tab to my Google Drive where there's a corresponding folder that's been created, that was created, when I created my C5 Teachers group within Classroom. So again, when I clicked on this button, this folder icon right here, it takes me to my Google Drive where Classroom created a folder that corresponds to the Classroom class or group that I created within my Classroom account. Uh, lastly, if you click on these three lines, it gives you another look at the groups that you've created. Since I've only created one group, I have my one group right here. Okay, let's go through creating a group or creating a class. So again, there aren't very many buttons as of right now in Classroom, which makes it nice and simple and clean looking. Let's go ahead and click on the plus sign. You can see that our two options are to create a class or join a class. We want to create a class right now. So I click Create a Class, and I could name this class anything. Let's say I want to name it uh, English. And then you can give it a section title as well. But I'm just going to name it English, and I'm going to click Create. So it's creating right now. And now I have my new class. Looking around, you can see that I have no upcoming assignments. There's a class code. So if you give students this code right here, this kind of 8TBNAK strange code, they will be able to join your class. And they can do that by, if you go back to, to home, click on here and go back to your home, they can do that in their classroom account by clicking the plus sign, clicking join a class, and entering that code right there. So going back to the new class that I just created, you can see that you can start a tour if you want to, which will take you around uh, your new C5 class. We can go through that right now. It says Classroom Stream. In the Classroom Stream, you can post announcements and create assignments for your class. Announcements, Assignments. Here's the class code that I was talking about. You can also add students to your class directly on the students page. So I showed you how 
a student, if you gave him or her this code, he or she could log in and join your class. But you can also add students by clicking on students and inviting them. So you can click invite and you can see that I have a lot of people in my contact lists already. And these people can all be added to my class because they are my contacts. You then have this about and it says you can add general information about your class here. Press save to make completed fields visible by your students. You can add class materials here. So I can put my room number, I can put the title, class description, click save, and I'd be good to go. I'm going to go back to my stream. When I click right here, you can see that I can share something with this English class. I can upload a file or an attachment. I can attach something directly from my Google Drive. I can add a YouTube video. And then you can attach a link. Also, I can send this message to not just my English class, but the C5 teachers class I've also created. Once I write my message or share whatever it is I want to share, I can click post and people will be notified. You can also change your class theme. Google, when you click on change class theme, Google gives you a few different pictures that you can choose from. Let's say this is an art class. I can click on these brushes and then select class theme and you can see that now the picture, the header picture right here has changed to brushes which would fit well for an art class. Um, if it was a science class, possibly you'd want um, maybe a space picture like that. That could work really well too. Okay, so I'm done looking at my English class. Let's go ahead and click the three lines and click home. And now I have my English class and my C5 teacher class. I'm going to click on C5 teachers. You can see that uh, I had the same theme picture for this one that I had just picked for my English class. And I can do the same thing. I can attach attach something from my drive, a YouTube video, a link. Um, I can respond to both C5 teachers and that English group that I created, or just one of them, like the C5 teachers. And students can add comments. Now, if I click on these three circles right here, I can delete those comments so I have control over what's being said within the classroom. This group also has a class code that's specific to it. When I click on the arrow next to it, I can reset this code, make it different. If there's people that have the code and I don't want them to have the code, I can reset it to change it. Or I can disable the code so no one else will be able to join the class group. Google Classroom is a great way to share documents, presentations, and other assignments that you want to share with your classes. It's embedded within our GAF account, and I hope you have a lot of fun using it.